Hey, my beautiful Scorpio. So first off, I do apologize that I have taken a week out. I've not been so good. Um, literally just tired, just literally sleeping day and night. I feel like I've been doing a lot of shadow work um, within that. So I don't know if it was a bug, if I was ill or if I needed that time out within my own head. But I noticed on social media, a hell of a lot of people were going through the same thing as well. So it may have been an energy portal, uh, an activation going on within all this eclipse energy and things like that. And we are in your season. So let's have a look, Scorpio. I am available for one-on-ones. Uh, my website is in the description box below. And if you'd like to follow me on my socials, my Instagram and my Facebook is down there as well. So I'm going to get you on from the numerology deck for my Scorpios. We've got 37, we've got time out now. I can't remember who else got this, but someone else did. Um, a need for a time out, a need to retreat. So maybe you have been feeling the same. Um, you know, it is that type of energy. It's um, a 37 is a one. So it's about a new beginning, but I feel like it's a time out before the new beginning starts. So you may be feeling like there's a time out coming. It is a yellow star straight away. It takes me towards the solar plexus, which is like the central nervous system. And this is like the alarm center as well. So I feel like it tells us, this is the main brain of the body, your central nervous system. This is, tells us to when to be excited. This tells us when we, we're anxious, when something's not right. So it's about listening to that. And I feel like you've got to listen to your body right now, Scorpio. It, there's a need to listen to your body. So if it's saying to sleep more, to eat more, to, you know, be more active, listen to your body. It's speaking to you. So, oh, three from the empowerment deck, please, for Scorpio. So we have the queen. See, the queen looks like she's taking time out. You know, the queen's always busy. The queen's got a lot to do, you know. So maybe you do feel like everything just maybe there is a need for a time out and just to switch off a little bit you know she's on the sword up i'm not arguing i'm not fighting i'm not going to war with anybody my scales are balanced as long as i'm keeping them balanced and my books you know i've got the knowledge i've got the lessons i'm just going to sit here and just gather my thoughts and that's okay you've also got the secret keeper so your bs radar is switched on like her notch it's also she wears the invisibility cloak so i do feel like you are like kind of like coming back into the shadows a little bit in your energy, Scorpio. Um, and it's just so that you can get a clear vision, a clear sight of what you can trust, what you can't trust, are you trusting in yourself, you know, that type of energy. So I feel like it is like a time, it is that time out energy. I'll just put my invisibility cloak on. I'm just going to have a quiet period while I gather my own thoughts and just see what's going on around me. So I feel like you're very like, you're taking that heed of everything that's going on. You're very perspective. Um, so we've got desires. So going forward, the hand of the divine is saying, right, now you've accumulated your thoughts, what is it that you actually want? And I feel like that's what you need to take time out with because things are so busy in your life, you're not actually sitting down and thinking, what's my end game? Well, is there ever an end game? But do you know what I mean? What's the next end game? What's my next adventure? Where do I need to get to next? Where's, where's my next port of call? I don't think you're doing that. I feel like you've gone into that thing of everything's the, the same. Every day is rolling into the same. So I feel like there's a need for a shake-up. So clarify the queen. So we've got the ace of water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What did I say about like kind of going into the uh, shadows and watching? We've got spying. We've got watching. We've got inspecting. And I don't feel like... It's an energy of like something toxic. I feel like it's just more that you're more aware of what people are doing, what people are saying. You're just kind of keeping yourself to yourself, taking a step back. You're in your watery energy. And you're just like kind of watching and accumulating knowledge whilst you watch. There could be certain things that you're watching as well. Um, I don't feel like it's negative things. But you may have got really into something, you, you know, a podcast or, you know, something. You've got the Ace of Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So you may be dealing with an Earth sign. But I feel like you kind of, it's like, where do I feel grounded? Who can I feel safe with? Uh, what shall I do next about my finances? You know, that type of thing. Because that's all going towards your desires. So they're telling you just to take a step back because the answers are in front of you. There's a need to watch. Because you've got that sun strength and empowerment coming in as well on top of desires. So you, you're, you're on thoughts. 
your eyes, you know, watch, watch, rather than listen, watch. And it's like the saying, it, actions speak louder than words. You, you're watching. So I'll leave you there till tomorrow. Bye.